I'm Roshan Naik and uh, I've been working at Hortonworks for about 10 months now, close to 10 months. I was working at uh, Yahoo prior to Hortonworks, so that, that's where I actually uh, got my first exposure to Hadoop. My active involvement in uh, Hadoop actually began uh, after I joined Hortonworks. Uh, I've been with Flume shortly after I joined Hortonworks, so maybe about nine months, uh, and more recently with High for about a couple months. Flume is a streaming solution for moving data, primarily into Hadoop. So think of it as a way to stream your logs from uh, your sources like web servers or syslogs and make them available uh, into in Hadoop for consumption into you know either HBase or MapReduce or something of that sort. The most core concept of Flume is probably the notion of an event. An event, if you're streaming logs, it's basically one log entry. Uh, that's one event. Um, Flume. Uh, Flume process, uh, also called as an agent, is basically has three primary components, uh, sources, sinks, and uh, channels. Sources are basically the entry point of data into Flume. Uh, sinks are responsible for delivering the data to the destination, and channels basically uh, buffer the data in between the sources and the sinks. They are there in order to decouple the incoming data rate, which is typically unpredictable, uh, to the drain rate, uh, from the drain rate. So you're decoupling the drain rate and the ingestion rate by buffering uh, in the case there are spikes uh, in the incoming data flow. A new embedded agent which allows you to embed a little Flume agent inside your application. Uh, there's uh, improvements to file channel, there's uh, a new JMS source. Uh, we're also working on a new kind of a channel called spillable channel which allows you to partially buffer in memory as long as uh, memory capacity is able to buffer the data and spill any access into excess data onto disk. Uh, 